Hello subscribers, welcome to the live stream of Wizard's Crown. So this game is not super well known. This is a old school RPG. Uh, came out in 1986. I think it came out came out for various platforms. I think the DOS version may have come out in 87. But regardless, it's uh, not very well known. I did do a review of this 11 years ago. It's on my YouTube channel. So I figured, hey, I was thinking through some games. I'm like, I want to play something I haven't played for a while that is could be interesting, a lot of fun. So this is what I picked. Hey there, Hama and Jimmy. Welcome to the stream. How are you guys doing? Doing well here. Doing well. I think I'm going to leave the difficulty on normal because this game is really hard. It's very hard. Uh, we're going to reset the dungeon. <laughs> and that DOS box is already failing me. <laughs> Saying disc error. Press any key. I am pressing any key. Okay, so obviously we can't do that. <laughs> we have to go back in. All right. Let's see if we can start it from a brand new game somehow. Yeah, see, I already have some characters. This is from the review I did and I played 11 years ago. I'm not sure if I have a clean install. <clears throat> Let me check my save game files. I may need to try to pull that out of my archive. Hey, Duncan, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? This DOS box can't seem to work with it. I'm almost wearing camouflage. <laughs> yeah, you're right, huh? Okay. Let's see if I have this thing backed up. There it is. Whoa, Duncan's on a 95 stream watch streak. Holy moly. Okay, I'm working. I'm working on getting this extracted. Let's see if this archive doesn't have fresh version. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, reload DOS box. Okay. Ah, oh, I archived it with the uh, backup of or with the this save file okay let me see if there's some files i can manually do, delete so it looks like maybe this well, it was 11 years ago i played it party party one yeah maybe this is it let me see if i can remove the party and if it's good enough to Data maps, data maps, 2027. I wonder if I just get rid of all of these. Let me move these. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to find out. Hey, Sastam, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Okay, here we go. Play game. No file. Party1.dst. 
Okay, so I can't just move those files out of the way. Let's try to put those back and see if it'll run. Wiz Crown? Play? Yeah, see, it, the, the party is in that those files. I want to start fresh. But I'm not sure I can do that. Create new adventures. Press, check, improve, have character quit the party. Maybe that's what I'll have to do. Let's, let's just get rid of everybody this way. I'm assuming since I moved off the data files that I'd reset all the dungeons. That's what, uh, at least that's what I hope for. At least the game's colorized. Yeah, it's CGA graphics. Codes in the gold box death screen. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen black, white, magenta, and cyan. Yep. Unfortunately, it's CGA. You're absolutely right. Some 40 column action. Yep. 40 column graphics mode. Yeah, it wants to have a floppy disk. I know. Okay. Well, let's create brand new characters, guys. We don't want that party because that party was pretty strong. <clears throat> okay. Enter character's name. Here we go. So Ham was here first. All right. So I like I mentioned earlier, I have a review of this game that I did 11 years ago. It's on my YouTube channel in case after the stream you want to get more info on it. Um, you can have, I think, eight characters. And you can actually kind of have multi-class characters based on your attributes. So let's have someone that's pretty strong first. I do want to increase life. That life's your hit points. Let's get that up to 50. Uh, let's get this to 10. And then we'll do this. This will be kind of just a, a fighter type. We have five points we can spend, and that's based on your intelligence. So the higher your intelligence, the more multi-classing you can do. Like, essentially gives you more skills. We're going to do a fighter. So this is what we have for skills. Close combat, sword, axe, spear. So it looks like... His spear and flail is tied, and then bow is 22. Hey, Rushnaka, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Floppy disk is such a strange ask a viewer wonders. <laughs> then remember that it's been almost 25 years since I touched a 3.5 inch floppy disk. 38 years, they touched a 5 and a quarter inch true floppy whoppy. <laughs> That's right. Okay, now we get to pick a weapon. So uh, we were good with flails. Flails in this game can actually bypass shields. So this game's really complex. I'll just tell you that much. Um, flails are the only types of weapons that will bypass shields of enemies. So let's go with a large flail. And... Is there any flail looking? Here's a flail. Let's do this one. It looks two-handed. Yeah, there are there are eight, eight inch floppies. That's right. That was before the five and a quarter arm. Huh? Okay, we have Hom. Next was Jimmy. Jimmy the snack stealer. Jimmy the snack snackist. That's his new name, Jimmy the Snackist. And 
Let's give him some more intelligence. Um, experience. If you give experience here, you can actually increase skills. The skills that you get in the beginning. Let's let's increase that by two. Let's do this. We'll kind of make him more well-rounded. Uh, your weapon is determined what you can use based on your strength. We'll do this. All right, so we have 13 points. He could be a sorcerer. That would hog up 11. Or we could do something like a priest ranger. Uh, we could even do a priest ranger thief. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Jimmy says, Stealer, those snacks were free for the taking from Duncan's snack bag. <laughs> there. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, well, what do we want to do here? So priests are actually really interesting in this game. The prey ability can be really strong. So I think I'm going to make him a priest. Do I want to mix ranger? I don't think so. Fighter priest. Okay. Zero karma. We need to apply some to karma. First aid, 17. Treat poison, which is really important. 19. Treat disease, 21. Sword, axe, spear, mace, flail, bow, crossbow. Shield. He's good with a shield. An axe. Let's give him an axe, maybe. Let's do a hand axe. Right here. Jimmy the Snackist. Okay. Duncan, I think, was next. Duncan. And... Same deal. We want to have enough strength. Let's make him a sorcerer. Uh, let me subtract. I want to do that. Let's do this. Could make him a sorcerer thief. Let's do that. Or a sorcerer ranger. Let's do sorcerer ranger. Read ancient, evaluate magic. It's 22. Cast Bell 20, Alchemy 17. He has first aid. That's probably a ranger skill. That's nice. Okay. Spear, heavy spear, short bow. <clears throat> We're going to give him a short bow. A sorcerer shooting sword. A uh, sorcerer shooting a short bow. That's pretty cool. Hey, Jeff. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Ah, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Jeff was playing. What's the name of that game, Jeff, that you're playing? I can never remember. And thanks for giving Jeff the shout out. Yeah, Jimmy the Snackist. He, he's the Snackist in the party. <laughs> oh, gosh. How do you pronounce that? Kayu Yaku? Megami Tensei 2. <laughs> It's an RPG. <laughs> it, uh, you summon, basically you can hire or summon demons and fairies and stuff. It's pretty interesting. He's been having fun with it. Oh, Tim's here too. Welcome, Tim. How are you doing? I'm playing a really old school game. I have a review on this on my YouTube channel. 
from 11 years ago in case you want to see what this game's about but it's a really complex old school 1986 rpg it's a lot of fun it's really hard okay so we're in character creation here so who is next i think it might have been rushinaku i always name my characters after who's chatting oh saztam saztam was next and I will, I can use his full alias. There's enough characters. Watch this. Lemonhead ST Saztam. Look at that. And this is old school RPG. How, how many old school RPGs do you know of that you could have character names that long? <laughs> okay, what are we going to do with him? I need, I need another tank. We could, we can make him a fighter thief if I put two points, no, three points in intelligence. Let's do that. Uh, let's boost his decks a tiny bit. Fighter, thief. Glad you're doing great, Tim. I missed what Jimmy said. What did he say? Snacks will be our greatest ally. That's right. <laughs> Teleport people into walls like trap chests in Wizardry 1. Di Forte is good at making up names. <laughs> now Jeff says I got to the Forest of Confusion after killing Moloch. And I said, nah, I'm good for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you you reached a good stopping point the game could be older than some of the viewers here deporte i'm sure it is yeah definitely jeff says i don't know many new rpgs where you can have names that long <laughs> that's true good point hey mr spock welcome how are you doing yeah high tech cga graphics i'm surrenders <laughs> Okay, so he's good with sword and flail. Pretty good with the crossbow. Let's see, picklock's 20, haggling 17, scan is 12, awareness 10. Okay, so I think I do want someone that's good with swords. Let's give him a claymore. Claymore. I don't really see a two-handed sword. I guess it's this one. Okay. I think Rushinaka was next. Let me double check that. Yep. We can even do his full alias. Look at that. Make sure I'm spelling it right. Boom. Okay, he's going to be a caster. We're going to have a really strong, smart caster here. Still get his life up a little bit here. Look at that. He's going to be a sorcerer priest. First aid 41. Tree poison 34. Tree disease 28. Turn on dead 18. Alchemy 27. 18 luck. Evaluate magic 34. Cast spell 29. I gave him some experience. So we'll be able to dump some points in his skills more. Right, he's got to be a caster. Look. That. Okay, next, who was next? Let me look. Jeff, we can use his full alias. Jeff Ertainment. 
look at that. And then after Jeff is Tim Coolish. All right, what do we want to do? Let's do some more dexterity. Uh, let's leave Jeff a straight fighter. Straight fighter. He's really good with maces and bows. Uh, Morning Star. Morning Star. Really see a mace slash Morning Star icon. Go with that one. Okay. And coolish. I think I might do another ranged unit here. Could do a ranger fighter. Let's do that. He's going to be very dexterous. Ranger fighter. Wow, look at that close combat. 45, sword 40, spear 40, crossbow 36. Crossbows in this game are kind of a pain in the butt because you lose a round reloading at the next round. You can't shoot it every round. Mr. Spock says, I'm looking forward to seeing this game. I've not looked it up to spoil myself. Gotcha. Duncan says, all we need is invisibility, 10 for radius, haste, and fireball, and cookies. <laughs> says. Okay. So... I don't, uh, I just don't know about the crossbow. His hunt's good, 28. His close combat's really good. I'm going to give him a longbow. I don't think I used the bow icon yet. Did I? Uh, I might have. Let's use this instead. Okay. I think I can have another one here. Who was next? Was it Mr. Spock? Mr. Spock. I'm going to leave the one off. Hmm. Make him a straight sorcerer. I'm giving everyone 50 life in case you haven't noticed. Tons of points and experience here. And let's make him look like this. Okay, do I have room for one more? Nope. Okay. We have eight characters. So somewhere... Oh, look at all these items I've stored. So this was from my previous party. I don't want to take any of this stuff because it'll be a cheat. But man, I got I had some good stuff. Okay. So tell the menstrual your deeds is to save the game. Check a character. Ready transfer evaluate items. He has the dagger and brigadine armor.
Tom. He has his large flail readied. Jimmy has his hand axe readied. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It, it automatically readies the good weapon that it, you start with. So I don't have to go through here and do all those. Except he doesn't have anything ready to ready this. And Jeff. Big star and shield. Tim. This is longbow. Okay. Move money around. Outfit a character. Groove character. Okay, so here we go. This is how we use our 20 points. So Hom, I think he's using the flail, right? Let me double check it. Yep, okay. Um, let's improve your flail. It took six experience points to raise it one point. Uh, we're still doing it. Got up to 29, I think. Let me look. Yeah, he's got 29 flail now. Mr. Spock says, I heard street sorcerer, so that's what I am now. <laughs> You're a street sorcerer. <laughs> Makes money off the street. Okay, Jimmy is the hand axe. Let's see, he also... Yeah, he's also the priest, so he can... One of the priests, treat... Poison, treat disease, which those the poison is especially critical, so it's first aid. Luck. I'm not sure what luck does. Okay, we have 28 points. Karma allows you to pray and do some really strong things. So I definitely want to put points into this. First aid, tree poison. Thirty, nice. Okay, next is Duncan. He's got the short bow. Okay, he also has some magic ability. So improve. Scan of twenty nine. Stealth hunt track. He's good at tracking. Alchemy. You can make potions and stuff with that. Read ancient, evaluate magic, cast spell. I don't remember what power is. It's probably the strength of your spells. Let's do that. Okay, next is Lemonhead ST. He's just pretty much a fighter. Uh, he had the Claymore, right? Ah, uh, Haggling, Picklock. Yeah, he's the fighter thief. Disarm trap. Search. Okay. I had to put some points into the thievery. Max Grishinaka. He's kind of the sorcerer. Yeah, we gave him a ton of experience.
Okay, karma and power. Evaluate magic, cast spell. He's got really good first aid, treat poison. Okay, I like that. Sweet. Okay. Jeff's the straight fighter. Morning Star. 28 points. He does have a shield. Let's boost that too. There we go. <laughs> the potions, that's right. Okay, we're up to Tim. Yeah, he says a long bowie. High dexterity. Let's get his bow up there. 43, nice. Swimming stealth. His stealth's really high. Let's improve his first aid a bit, too. Okay, last but not least, Mr. Spock. Power. Cast spell. Look at that. Five power. Okay, we have our party. Exit the end. Who will be on point, Tom? Okay. Here's a tavern. You are at the Unicorn's Horn. Do you wish to enter? Yes. Tavern full of adventures. The characters eat, drink, and have a good time. Okay, it's closed. Come back tomorrow. So it must be nighttime. Yeah, down there in the bottom right, you can see it's nighttime. So we can't go into the center area. Poor section. This is where you can get into fights. Tavern. The Rusty Nail. Do you wish to enter? Who will be active? Hom. Ah! Those files I moved off. Okay, I'll have to put them back. <laughs> I moved them because I wanted the, the game to start now, but obviously uh, it needs them. Okay. Here we go. Monster type spot, a thief. Quick combat? No. All right. Let's see where they're at. Jimmy the Snackist, Tom, Mr. Spock, Lemonette, ST, Duncan, Tim, Jeff, Rishnaka. I don't see them anywhere. They must be hiding. Exit the placement phase. There they are. Jimmy the snack is the thief hits Jimmy, but Jimmy blocked it. Mr. Spock got hit, suffers a light wound, chest causing heavy bleeding. Okay, now it's my turn. Tim, attack. Thief is hit. Suffers a light wound, stomach caused light bleeding. Hey Slater, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Tom says I am always on point, Deporte. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> File scam. 
That's right, Duncan. I see you see the new uh, emoticon. Looks like an early version of the gold box engine. It's definitely not. <laughs> it's so different. But I, I know what you mean, the overhead view. Yeah, this the combat in this game is way more complicated. Complex. <laughs> but this is SSI. I don't know if I told you that. Yeah, SSI made this game. Okay, we're going to cast. Wow, look at all these spells I have to choose from. Wound. Select target. Um. Fender suffers a severe wound to the leg causing bleeding. Okay, there's a thief above here. Attack. Duncan attacks thief and hits. Okay, we did damage. It didn't tell us how much and it didn't cause bleeding or anything. <laughs> Better answer the phone. Yeah, exactly, he says. I said I mentioned that in my review of this game. Jimmy says a very citrusy color palette, yeah. This is the red, yellow, black, white, as opposed to the cyan magenta. Okay, Santa's town. Let's look at you. What do you have? You have a, a weapon that does cutting damage. Uh, Claymore, okay. Claymore. Let's see, how do we move? Yeah, I don't think we can move. We can move this way. We could move down. Attack. Hits. Ah, Defender lies on moving, so Asdam takes him down. Thief attacks Mr. Spock and hits. Okay, Jimmy. Attack. Hits the thief. Light wound to the chest. Thief attacks Rushanaka and hits. Light wound to the stomach. Okay, Jeff is the fighter. That's the only one he can hit. Yeah, you have to change direction, too. You have to, like, in order to move and stuff, you have to turn the character. It's really complex. And then move based on the direction you're facing. Hit. Um... You just view, let's see. View with scan. What targets? Dodge zigzag. W. Change facing. Okay. Facing up now. Go this way. Uh, let's go this way. You can attack on diagonals, which is nice. Oh, nice. Took that guy down. Thief attacks Jeff and hits. Tim, turn you the other way. Attack. Thief. Hits. Suffers a light wound to the stomach. Ooh, gets another shot. Causes light bleeding to the chest. Hits Jeff. Suffers light wound to the chest, causing severe bleeding. Oh boy. Did I mention this game's really hard? Tried to knock down the thief. Who is knocked down? We knocked him down. Okay, and you need to cast. Uh, 
poison. Let's try to poison. Miscast a spell. Mr. Spock failed. <laughs> it's very descriptive, yeah. Every hit sounds like a fart. My bad, Mr. Spock says. <laughs> okay, Jimmy the Snackist. Attack to kill. Hits. Suffers a light wound to the arm. Attack to kill. Arm hits the thief. Thunder lies unmoving. Rushinaka cast wound. Like the turn, I guess? Yeah. Miscasts the spell. Duncan, attack. Hit. Tim Coolish attacks and hits. Causes heavy bleeding to the chest. Saztam. Attacks and hits. Severe wound to the leg causing light bleeding. Attack Saztam with mist. Thief hits Jeff. Jeff hits Thief. All right, took down that one. Jimmy says, does this game have the option to rename characters? Yeah, it does. Mr. Spock says, Jimmy, built by Doritos. <laughs> okay, we need to turn. Back to kill. No, that's my guy, evidently. Do we kill them all? Quit your turn. Do we kill them all? You would scan. What targets? Oh, there's a thief right there. That's the one in the middle. I wish it would, the enemies were displayed in a better manner. Mr. Spock hits the thief. It's the stomach causing heavy bleeding. It's Jeff. Attack. Tim hits the thief. Tim hits the thief. Light wound to the stomach. Jeff. It's the thief. Saz Tam. Misses. Duncan. Hits. Light wound to the stomach. <laughs> Duncan says, who will become the first failure and scrub? Mr. Spock is so much blood. Slater says, was going to say, at this point, everyone's just bleeding profusely, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we can try to cure it afterwards if we have bandages. I don't remember if we start with bandages. Otherwise, you die. Like, if you leave the combat scene without repairing the bleeding, the character is destroyed. Like, just utterly destroyed. Rushinaka hits the thief. Mr. Spock hits the thief. Light wound to the arm. All right, Jimmy. Hits the thief. There we go. Took it down. Now. Everybody's okay. Nobody's bleeding. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, view captured items. Short sword, leather, short sword. There is a scroll. Evaluate. Evaluated? No. Okay, hang on. I need to pick the person that has evaluation, I think. Leather. Bash three, cut two, thrust two. Short sword. I don't know if we, it doesn't look like we can evaluate from here. items left pray for healing heal check a character show party health here we go ah see we do have injury and bleeding so rushinaka's so the injury on the left is like a minor injury minor bleeding like before the slash after the slash is heavy <laughs> Mr. Spock says, sorry if you slip on my blood, everyone. <laughs> Time for our very first item scam, Duncan says. <laughs> everyone dies. We call it a draw. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, so Mr. Spock's bleeding pretty heavily. I think I'm going to have to pray for healing here. We'll try heal first. Heal a character. Mr. Spock. Oh, who will perform first aid? Uh, let's have Jimmy try. No bandages. We have no bandages. I don't remember where we get bandages. Okay, we'll see if we can pray. Who will pray? Jimmy. He can only stop normal bleeding. Uh, do it for Jeff. Now healing Jeff. Pray for healing. Who was my other... Is it Rishinaka? Unable to pray. It's not Saztam. It's not Duncan. It's not... Is it Mr. Spock? Oh, nobody's able to pray. The only one that can pray is Jimmy. Stop normal bleeding. I don't think it's going to work on Mr. Spock. Yeah, it didn't remove the severe bleeding. Mr. Spock's going to be dead. Ugh. <sighs> Mr. Spock, any characters listed will be destroyed. If none are listed, then poison has taken its effects on someone. Do you really want to leave? <laughs> no, but I have no choice. See? He just disappears. Like, you can't raise him from the dead. He's just gone. Did I tell you this game was hard? He is gone. Time to recreate Mr. Spock. <laughs> Jimmy says, I'm not taking the fall for this one, chat. <laughs> Mr. Spock, oh, dead again. Happened several times a day. Jimmy says, this game is rough. It is. It's brutal. Okay, so he was a caster. He was a sorcerer. Let's do that again. Let's do this. Uh, 
I think I'm a sorcerer priest. And let's pick this. Improve. So karma. That's for the praying. Treat poison. Let's get that way up there. Forty seven, okay. All right, let's see if that helps next time for getting rid of the poison. Tom says, well, at the start for a new game, it's not that bad. Mr. Spock says, make me a bandager. Clearly, I need it. I died and found God. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember where I get bandages. Maybe the temple? Pray as long as you wish. So we can pray for healing here, I guess. He can stop normal bleeding. Let's see what Mr. Spock can do. Unable to pray. Why is that? Jimmy's the only one that can pray. Is it because his karma's 10? Prayer level 1. Ah, I bet that's it. Prayer level 0. Okay. So the karma, we must need to get the karma up to at least 10, maybe? We need to get it up a lot higher, and then it looks like there's current karma versus your karma that will get replenished. So, yeah, we need to recreate Mr. Spock again. Uh, remove. No, I'm going to rest. How do you do this? Have a character quit the party. Okay. So, 11. Hmm. 18. This is what we're doing. Sorcerer Priest. Cast spells 44. Improve Mr. Spock. Yeah, we need a bandage dispenser. That's right. All right, well, let's bump this way up. 20. Cure Poison. 35. Okay, let's see what happens now. I can't. So he can heal normal injuries or stop normal bleeding. I still can't stop severe bleeding. But he can pray to heal normal injuries. Heck, do we get bandages? Okay, I saved the game. Let's see if maybe up here we get them. Here's the armory. I don't even know how much gold do I have. Zero? You start with zero money.
Pound Square. There are many people in the square. The party spends some time watching and listening to the crowds. There are many people. Okay. A shopkeeper says, I am too busy to talk. To talk. Try the old man in the park. Many shops. You're at the money changer, Jewish Jenner. So this is where you can actually change currency types. You don't have any silver? Get out. <laughs> yep, we have zero amount of money. You see an old man. He looks up at you and asks if you wish to hear a story. Stay. He then begins a long story about two, two sword Bilar in Argan. The story is very entertaining and part of it sounds useful. Bilar soon regretted his robbing of a merchant. When he tried to sell the goods, he was never offered more than half their market value. The old man finishes his story and says, come back another day and I will tell you another story. He walks off. We're in the park. Training grounds. So here's where you can pay money to increase a skill. It's really expensive though. And I have nothing. And this is where we can sell things. You have robbed a guild merchant. Now you will suffer the penalties. Okay, so since I'm playing with my previous saved game and I can't seem to reset it because it wants a floppy diskette, we're going to be stuck with having bad pricing on this. Just curious. Would offer three to sell a dagger, okay. Another temple? No, a tavern. Tavern full of adventures. The characters eat, drink, and have a good time. Many conversations go on around you, one of which you overhear. We will need an emerald key to... <laughs> Temple. Charging bowl. Looking for a fight. Okay, we'll enter the rusty nail. Looks like I already cleared this. You can get kind of hung up, moving around. They go downstairs. Examine, maybe. Nothing found. And we need to examine the one in front of us. Nothing found. Yeah, I opened this treasure chest and all this. He finds stairs leading up. All right, do you want to leave the rusty nail? Yeah. Okay. So where are the thieves? I'm going to place myself right next to each other. This looks good. Yeah. 
He fits Duncan. Heavy wound to the leg. <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't have bandages. 25 health or life on Tim. Heavy bleeding. Heavy wound. Light wound to the stomach. Uh, somebody just died. Was that? I think one of my characters just died. <laughs> Mr. Spack says, was it me again? It happens so often I don't even realize. I don't know. Light bleeding on Jimmy the snackest. Okay, we killed one of those. Killed that thief. So This is magic. Oh, that's the defensive ratings. Cast spell 34. I think I might have to rest to get power back. Spell casting. I think we have to rest at the end, maybe. Duncan misses. Missed. Okay, Mr. Spock. I guess lightning bolt. I guess it takes time. Heavy wound. It's Jeff. Heavy wound. Severe wound. Okay, I took it out. Rushinaka finds some money. Yeah, Sazdam died. <sighs> Great for healing. Mr. Spock. Normal bleeding. Oh, we got a lot of bleeding here. Jimmy. Stop bleeding. Uh oh, yeah, Sastam's dead, so it doesn't matter. He's got severe bleeding. <laughs> Jimmy says this game is merciless, has Iron Man mode built in. Yeah, it's brutal. There is there's a when you tell your tale or whatever it's called, tell the minstrel your deeds, that's what saves the game. So you could just quit the game, I think, and reload if you don't want to Iron Man it. But the saves are only at certain points in the game. Okay, let's pray for healing. Heal injuries. Uh, heal Duncan. Ah, oh, he used up. He can't heal anybody else. Okay. 
Character will be destroyed. I don't have a choice. He was dead anyway. Let's see if we can go here. Then go here. Rest. Inspect. Karma's 20. Experience 2. Let's inspect. Urshinaka. Karma 8. Power 2. Simony can cast now. Alright, we have to recreate Sazdam. So I think I had him as a mainly a fighter. Flail. It's good with flail. Let's give him a large flail. Jimmy says, I hope the designers programmed in a lot of ditches because we're going to use them. So true. Okay, let's leave the town. This is where it gets crazy. Ruined building. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I've already done this with that other party. Monster type spotted zombie. Use quick combat. Let me show you the quick combat. Yes. 11 zombies. Holy moly, we're going to die. <laughs> the characters are robbed. They robbed us. It's funny that they didn't kill us. Oh, wow, look at that. They robbed items. They took Tom's weapon. Same with Jimmy. He lost his weapon. Look at all that. <laughs> oh, it's brutal. Any character listed will be destroyed. I'm Jimmy and Duncan. Do you really want to leave? Yes. <laughs> yeah we definitely can't do that let me see what happens when we reload it should remember the last place we were at the end yeah Jimmy says, I don't know. The soundtrack was by Rob Zombie. <laughs> so let's see what I had in the end. So all this stuff is from when I did my re game review 11 years ago. And I put a bunch of time into the game. And got a pretty strong party. There's some pretty darn cool items. Frost Battle Axe. Cut 9, 20 magic damage. Axe plus 26. We have a great axe, plus 3 great axe. Awareness plus 4. Magic claymore, cut 12, magic 10. Lightning longsword, 40 magic damage. Fine broadsword gives scan plus 17. Very fine large flail. Bash of 16, flow plus 16. This this very fine broadsword has a poison spell on it. Sword plus 8. 
Very sharp Claymore. Has counter magic. 22 damage. It's four plus three. Doom Greatsword does life blast 25. Cut 14. A frost light crossbow. Plus three leather armor. Nice, man, that's strong. Dark Flail, Magic Scimitar, Dark Scimitar, Wand of Paralyze, Magic Large Flail, Spell of Reveal Enemy, Flail plus 23. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thugs. Why don't let me come over here? It won't let me get the character over here. That's weird. It like put him out of range for me to get. <laughs> Who is that? Not the enemy, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's my character. We heard. He's gonna be out there in the middle of nowhere. Thug hits Saz down. Heavy wound to the head, causing light bleeding. Mr. Spock says, good suggestion for listening while playing. The Rob Zombie comment. This would be a good candidate for hex editing fun. Yeah, and I need to heal Tim somehow. He's only got 25 life. Heavy wound, nice. Defenders killed. Wow, that was quick. Defenders killed. Okay, where's the next one? one seven. I don't see any more. Is he invisible? There's a there's a thief hiding. There he is. Wow. Light wound stomach. Thug who was knocked down. We knocked him down. Okay, hon, um, what are you doing way over there? Okay, we can cast again. Miscast the spell. Mr. Spock. Life blast. Why did that not work? Oh, we have to turn. Lightning bolt. There we go. Defenders killed. Duncan finds some money. Okay, show the party's health. Injured, injured, injured. Bleeding. And we need to get rid of that minor bleeding. Gray. Injuries. Injuries. Nice. Get unable to pray. Jimmy can't heal the injuries. Okay, tell the minstrel your deeds. You want to leave? Yep. Let's go back to the here and pray. Uh, 
Ah, oh, Tim only has 25 life max. I didn't boost his life. I thought he was injured, but he's not. Okay. Gosh, where do I get bandages? Do you have to find them? Can't get them there. Let me go back here. The armory doesn't have them. much money did Duncan find? Three copper. Oh, boy. It's going to be quite a while before we can buy anything. No, we don't want to sell. Where in the heck do we get bandages? Cemetery. This is residential. I don't know if we'll fight anything here. It might only be in the poor areas. We're in the poor section here. Quick combat. No. Yeah, that last time my character was outside the range. So I couldn't grab the character to place him. Next. Here. This. I want the casters separated this okay this is good bug hits duncan mrs has it's jimmy mrs jeff okay heavy bleeding Duncan misses. Jimmy snackest. Killed it. Wow. Way to go, Jimmy. Duncan's light wound. Tim killed one, nice. Heavy wound to Duncan. Severe bleeding on that guy.
Let's cast magic bolt. Miscast. Wow. Rushanaka is not too successful with his spell casting. Nice. That one's down. Heavy wound. Okay, Mr. Spock, let's have you do a magic bolt. Miss Cass! What the? Killed that one. Hey, Cody, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? What in the gold box is this, he says. This is uh, definitely not a gold box game. It's called Wizard's Crown. It's really old school, super brutal hard RPG. It's one of the hardest RPGs you can play. Nice, took him down. Tim finds some money. Let's see how much he found. One, one copper. Uh, thanks for giving Cody the shout out there. Cody was playing Rimworld Anomaly was the expansion. Okay, let's get back to the tumble. Pray. Any injuries? Yep, Duncan's injured. Get that cured. It's nighttime. We can't go through the gate. We have to go around. We made it. You're doing well. Glad to hear it, Cody. Looks like fun. It is. It's fun, but it's also really hard. So it, it depends on if you're into that and okay with having to reload. Because it's Iron Man, unless you do this tell your menstrual your deeds. And then if you do die, you have to kill the program. So essentially in the old day, you do a control delete in DOS. Reboot your computer and then reload the game because <laughs> there's no way to like quit the game. Yeah, it's rough. So we basically have to grind. You have to grind for a long time. Let's see how the quick combat does against these thugs. Oh yeah, that, that speeds it up tremendously. So then we don't we don't have to manually fight those. Nobody even got injured. That's the way to do it. Only if we run into a combat that's um more difficult where we it would kill us right away. Will we have to do those fights? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, did you make it to the rim of the world? And Cody says, nah, they're around planets, but the rim of the galaxy. <laughs> Sastam says, the final boss is the programmer. <laughs> that would be funny. And he gives himself 5,000 hit points. Holy moly. Master, assassin, and assassins? Let's see what quick combat does for this. They're probably going to destroy us. Two master assassins and 11 assassins. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> Everyone is killed. The adventure is over for these brave warriors. And look, the game doesn't even drop you to a command prompt. This is it. You have to reboot. Rushnaka says, which do you think makes for better D&D? A global chance to miscast per spell cast or a per spell type D 
domain chance to miscast modified by skill in that type domain um i think having it more granular is much better so that you can specialize so i would go with b that's my opinion <laughs> Sastam's laughing at the party death. It's not quite as, as brutal as the Friday the 13th NES ending. Where it just says, you and your friends are dead. Reboot, control, delete. Probably gathered this game would be impossible to Iron Man. I have it on difficulty of three. It's not even on difficult. It's right in the middle. Okay. Hey, Moody, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Quick combat, thugs. Tom finds money, says Tam finds money. Two copper? Really? What? He has zero copper. He didn't find any money. He just lied to us. Hmm. So, Jeff is injured. Heal normal injuries. Jeff. Pray as long as you wish. Okay. Let's stay on this side. We're closer to the temple. Thank you for giving a shout out to Moody there. Moody's been streaming Wizardry 6 Remastered, my mod for that. Doing an Iron Man run. He's quick combat. Four thieves, not thieves, thieves. Wow, we didn't find anything. We should be having experience from these fights. Let's look. Improve harm. Yeah, he has 28 experience now. Let's work on... I think he has a flail. He got his flail up to 51. Jimmy... Has 26 experience. What is he using? An axe? Yeah. Should work on first aid and poison here. Okay, we got poison up to 50. First aid, 45. Duncan, 28 experience. Let's work on his power and cast spell. Says Tam, forty one. Cody says, So this is an old game or a retro throwback? This is an old game. It was created in 1986. I think the DOS version came out in 87. Jimmy says, This game is OLD. So old and so heartless, I'm certain Duncan was on the design team. Uh, what is Sastam? He's using a flail too, isn't he? 57 flail. Let's hope that makes us spill to kill more things. Rushanaka. 
Okay, he, he keeps failing spell casting. We're boosting that. It's up to 51. Jeff. Okay. Tim. First aid. Which I still don't have any bandages. I don't know where you get those. He's using a bow. Let's boost that. It's 56. Mr. Spock. Let's work on Karma more. Cast spell. Okay. That should help a lot. Go pray. I don't know if we actually have to go into camp with this. Probably not. Ooh, two groups of thugs. Seven total. Let's see what happens. Jimmy and Jeff find some money. All right, so no one's seriously bleeding. That's good news. Pray for healing. Ooh, look at this. He can stop serious bleeding now. So stop normal bleeding. Heal normal injuries. So you can see there that the the minor injuries doesn't subtract from the health, but the heavy injury does. That 15 on the right has impacted his uh, hit points. Normal injuries. Hold on. Yeah, I need to start taking these items too when I find stuff. Probably have a bunch I need to go sell. Great axe. I think I've already filled up my inventory slots though. Check each. Drop. Wait, why does Mr. Spock not have any equivalent? Oh, because he's a caster. Okay. Make this great axe. Not sure I can do anything about that. You have no first aid. Yeah, we have no bandages. Where in the heck do we get bandages? <laughs> Tom says, just came back with my last tea. I almost spilled some with the remark from Jimmy. <laughs> Cody says, it honestly seems very modern for such an old game. Lots of survival me mechanics. Yeah, this game was way ahead of its time with uh, some of the mechanics. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, if I rest, did that heal anything? Let's look.
Serious injury 15. I did not get rid of his serious injury. Yeah, I did not heal him. So we need to work on karma more though. Okay. It's got four. Let's get up to forty one. See if we can go sell this stuff. Eighteen, twenty-eight, Getting a decent amount from this. Shoot sword, leather, dagger. We have a scroll here, evaluate. I don't know how to evaluate it. Here's the great axe. It's worth 46. Yeah, we're not getting much. <laughs> Jimmy says, I think for a 40 year old game, we can be forgiven for looking things up in a guide like where to buy bandages. <laughs> Cody says, There's a Scorpio review about it. I'm going to find later. Yeah, true. I, I have a review on this, too, on my YouTube channel uh, from 11 years ago. <laughs> I had a really strong party, but I started over. Let's see. Okay. How much money do we have? Silver. Thought there was a way. I know there's a place where we can pool the money. Move money around. Give all money to Hom. Nine copper, five silver. No, I didn't do it. Hold on. Give the money to one. Um, there we go. 147 copper, 33 silver. Each currency, it goes up by 10. So, like, one Electrum is worth 10 silver. And one silver is worth 10 copper. Okay. So, yeah, in the beginning, you just have to grind like crazy in this game. <laughs> Cody says, I probably watched it 11 years ago. You got so many cool games on there nobody else has ever covered. Thank you. I hope that they're enjoyable. Someday, once I can get more time being retired from my full-time job, I <laughs> start doing a bunch of reviews again. Gosh, where in the world do we get bandages? Let me double check in here again. Money changer doesn't do anything. This is the training grounds. Wouldn't make sense. I can have them here in the park. 
There's an alchemist up here. Top left. Let's go to him. Alchemist Labs. This is how much it costs to make a potion of this stuff based on your alchemy. But no bandages. There's a magic shop in the northeast corner of the inner wall. Welcome to the wizard shop. We can improve a magical item in one day for 50 gold pieces. 50 gold. So... That's 500 electrum. That's 5,000 silver. 50,000 gold or uh, copper pieces. Nope, I don't think we have the amount. Yeah, I don't see any options for bandages. I wonder if when you create a new party, you start with a certain amount. And since, since I haven't reset the game, we don't have any bandages. Don't know. Jimmy says we need to rob some of the local population. They're bound to have gold. <laughs> Jimmy, the snackist, finds some money. Oh my gosh. Look at these serious injuries we have. Heal all injury. Hey, we can heal all injury now. Oh, look at that. Mr. Spock. Unable to pray. Okay, let's... Ooh, we need to heal and remove the poison from Duncan. Uh-oh. I used up all the... Here we go. Stop normal bleeding. Oh, he has severe bleeding. Dang it. I didn't see he had severe bleeding. <laughs> oh... He's dead. It's weird that I can't see his attributes. It only shows skill. Morale loss 12. No, we're not playing on the hardest difficulty. We're playing on the default. There's two steps above and two steps below. So we're playing right in the middle. Can you imagine this on difficult? It'd be impossible. Okay, well, this is a big bummer. Can we try to cure the unpoisoning? 
Duncan is unpoisoned. Okay, so we did it without praying. Oh, it's not the poison, it's the bleeding. Never mind. <laughs> I think I thought, yeah, what was I thinking? Well, Duncan's dead. He's permanently destroyed. Uh, he looked like he was kind of a caster priest. Maybe he was a fighter priest. Let's do that. Oops. Fighter priest. Hmm. Heavy spear, great axe. Maul. I don't think I looked at his skill. Let's give him a great axe. Oh, his axe was only six. Okay, we're recreating. Uh, let's see. We just swap characters in and out like there's no tomorrow. Minor priest. Okay, let's look. He's good with a bow. I think it's pretty decent. Mace, 19. X, 17. Spear, 16. I think I'm going to do a spear. It's too heavy. Spear. All right. And karma, we know how important that is. Let's get that boosted. <laughs> Jimmy says his game. Yeah, it's rough. Mr. Spock says, who is in more pain during the game? The players or the characters? <laughs> Yeah, good question. It's rough. One's got nine experience he can put in. Boost, flail. Close combat. Karma. Rishanaka, Karma. Saz Town. Close combat. Okay. We'll do a couple more fights. I remember when I did the review and I made it to the end of the game, it was, I had probably invested for sure over a hundred hours of time. I'm going to guess closer to like 150 to get the party where I needed it. It was, it took a long time. Come on, thugs. Where are you?
Quick combat. Four thugs. Prey. All injury. So I think we have to rest. Get our hit points back. Camp. Show. Oh, he only has 38 health still. Twenty days. Okay, so they're not healing hit points from rusting. 50 out of 38. Pray for healing. Injury. Heal. Heal's got to be the way to do it. I don't have bandages. Okay, I'm going to have to look up where in the world I get bandages. Because I do not remember that. I thought there was a heal spell. It doesn't show me. No, there's no general store or hospital, Henry. That's a good question. They have the armory. They have the magic shop. Um, temples, which don't really heal you, which is kind of weird. It just says pray as long as you wish, which is here. But the healing isn't really healing. It doesn't bring back hit points. It just heals injury. Current life, 38. I think you have to get it back. Improvements. Mm -mm, you can't. I don't know. Have to figure that out. The manual may say... Do I even have the manual? Nope, I don't see a read me. I know I have the physical manual somewhere. I'll probably check that out offline. Okay, well, let's call it quits there for now. Control, I'll delete to get out of the game. So, really old school night. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.